My name is Jake Gosling and I'm a producer, songwriter um, mainly. Um, I also do some publishing and um, have a record label. Um, I'm known for working with the likes of Ed Sheeran, Paloma Faith, The Libertines, um, Shawn Mendes, um, more recently Major Lazer. Getting into production was something I sort of fell into. Um, it wasn't something that I, I studied as such, it was something that I needed to do, being a songwriter foremost and being in bands. And I, I learned myself really, I, I got hold of uh, early versions of things and, and, and started teaching myself how to do it. And I guess learned production that way, a um, bit of a backward way of doing it, but I, I guess it was fun and I needed to record my songs. So getting my songs recorded was really, really important. And so I sort of had to know how to do it. And that's how I learned and that's how I got into production. I was first recording um, for free people, writing songs with them um, and then recording them. And then I was experimenting. There were times I was experimenting with all sorts of things from recording mics in different rooms to getting a bucket of water and smacking it for percussive noises or using vocal stuff or how would I mic up a drum or... So it was all experimenting really and I'm still doing that quite a lot now. Um, and that's part of my process. Um, and from there, I, you know, it's obviously you improve. <laughs> we hope you improve. And um, yeah, and then it started to become something that I was more known for and had some successes with that. Um, but I very much come from it from a very sort of analog point of view. So my production, I would say, is, um, is more about capturing the moments. Um, I think it's really important in, in the records that I make to have, you know, even though I'm working with technology, to, to, to have things that might sometimes be a mistake or, you know, there are times when a door closed in the background or a, a, a vocal bleed here or a slight drum that went out or a string or whatever that might be. But I think those those elements really add to a recording and that's, that's ultimately what I'm trying to capture in the process and try and make it as less I guess, techie as possible, because I'm not really from that, from that world. I think being a producer, it's really good, and I, you know, to be able to dive into different genres and different, you know, I guess, different styles of, of what that production is. And every production lends itself to um, a sound or, or a rhythm or a beat, or, you know, if it's an acoustic singer-songwriter, then you're gonna, you, you, you know, that's the style of what that is. But you can blend those styles, you can mix those styles, and I think, it's good to do that. I think there's such a melting pot of music around that it's nice to be able to go well with Ed Sheeran, for example. There were hip hop beats, I guess, loosely in, in with a singer songwriter thing and the way Ed would write or I would write would be very much built around the fact that it would be rhythmical and stuff like that. Um, with every artist, you're interpreting what they do. My job as a producer is to understand where they're coming from and interpret that. I put my slant on it, but I don't necessarily turn them into something else. I'm just trying to embellish and help them develop their song. Um, and that I think that's really important rather than I go, well, this is what I do, so I'm gonna turn you into this. That's not how I work. I wanna work with the artist and make sure that I can interpret what they're saying and, and get it across to as many people as possible. Use their ideas and their vision to ho hopefully make that work. With songwriting, I, I work in, in different ways. I think the, the, the main thing for me is making sure that the song has a meaning and it has a story. Um, not always, but the majority of time I think it has to lend itself to something that draws from something that people can relate to. So the, the ideas of, of writing a song, so many songs have been written and there are so many chords, only so, so many chords you can use. Um, but then there's different styles like and melody. Um, it's about tying the whole thing together to, to make it, again, communicate to people um, and hopefully walk away from that. The, the, the key is to, to have the balance between the emotional side of the song, but also the lyrical content of it and the recording process of that. If you think of the biggest songs in the world, whatever they are, there's always an emotional aspect to them. Um, and I think when 
when you have that, not only in the songwriting and the production and the singing and the, the playing, everything that makes that um, will make that a hit record. Um, and it's not easy and not everything you write is going to be good. I've written plenty of stuff that's been absolute rubbish. But you, you, you learn from that and the more you do it and the more you practice it and the more you, you, you collaborate as well is really important with different people. Then you get other slants. Some songs will take very quick amounts of time to do. They just almost write themselves. And other songs will take a bit more crafting and you can spend a bit more time honing in on, on what it is and actually go, is this the best it can be? Is that lyric really is, is saying what you want it to do? Um, and then on the flip side, you've got tracks where you maybe want to focus maybe not on all the lyric, but you want to make sure that that, that one lyric is really strong, but the music around it reflects what the emotion of what the lyric is saying. So if it's a dance track or something, obviously the energy of being in a club or whatever that is, that that's going to generate an, an emotion and a feeling. So you don't ne you don't necessarily want there to be tons of lyrics because you don't really want that if you're in a club necessarily. So it's songs for different times, songs for different styles, you know, different genres and stuff like that. I was on Cubase three when I did Plus uh, for Ed Sheeran, and that was a real turning point for me in my life. Um, and I, looking back on that, it was something that I, I tried various other uh, DAWs. And that one, you know, Cubase resonated with me and it was something that I could work really, really quickly on. Um, and still to this day, I still work on it because it works. Um, and it, it helps with my workflow, it's fast, um, it's cohesive. Um, and there's a sound to it, I can't really put my finger on it, but it has it has a sound to it that I can't really explain. It seems almost transparent. Maybe that's just something I'm hearing in my head, I don't know. But for me, it just gives me air, it gives me space to be able to go, okay, well, <clears throat> if I put this sound in and that sound in, then I know where I'm going with it. It's, it's only something that I guess I'm still trying to work out. But um, yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely helped me um, with music I've made um, and still to this day. I think audio, audio editing in general is, 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 is really, I, I do everything in there. I mix, I mix on, on, on Cubase. Um, I, I do everything in there, even if I'm using other softwares, you know, external to Cubase, I will always throw it back in there and I'll keep it all under one sort of roof um, in there, really. For me, the, the main, one of the main things is the very audio situation. With vocals, if, you have, if you're not working with the best singer, then, you know, or even if it's just for effect, um, you know, going into the whole audio tuning um, situation within uh, Cubase, you can actually visually see it. You can see where the note fits. If you're a bit worried about what the key, what, what key the song is, you can very easily see what key it's in. You can see, oh, they're, they're singing a, a G here. Um, oh, actually, no, it's a bit sharp, so you can just pull that down and then you can move the formant of that note. And it's really quick. And I have singers, you know, and artists looking over my shoulder going, wow, that's amazing in terms of what you can actually do. I think it's nice with having technology there to be able to use it in a way that you can still have that human element. And I don't like to necessarily feel like I'm being led by the computer. I want to be able to throw things into it and still have that manipulation if I need it. But I want to still maintain that 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 element of oh, what what is that? And I have mics around my studio um, that are you know ready to go on in the in the room. So if someone even walks through the door, I've done this before. Or just I'll just leave it recording a bit, maybe while we're even writing the song. So then you've got elements of that song. It might just be a bang or a click or a cough or anything. It could be someone walking in. It could be an aeroplane going past. It could be a lawnmower. I mean, whatever it is, um, you can use those, and I can I can nick that and go back to it and go, oh right, okay. So I think in terms of production, I think you know, it's it's nice to be able to have that human element. Um, when I listen to those old records, you know, and the drummer went slightly out here and there, and 
the guitar was a bit baggy here and the tuning wasn't quite on. There's something quite nice about that, I think. So I, I want to maintain that one and, and not turn it into some sort of, uh, I guess, flat image. I want it to, to feel like it's got depth to it and feeling. You know, for those aspiring musicians, um, I think the key is you've really got to, you've got to be quite thick skinned and, and you have to, you have to really, really go for it. And I, I, th I think don't give up. It's, it's hard. It's really, really hard to find a voice to, um, to get your music out there. And I think there's so much music out there. It's just keeping doing what you, what you do and um, believe in what you're doing and work really, really hard and, um, and don't give up on it. Um, and, and try and find your own lane. Don't copy and be like everybody else because it's just boring. Um, I think it's important to draw from things, draw from your influences, find things that you like and maybe interpret it in your way. And think about it, how, how you can get it out there in the most uh, interesting way possible. Music is about expression and the more expressive you are with it, um, don't put too many walls around you. Think how, how do I get the song out? How would I do that? You sort of have to be everyone now. You can't just be the songwriter unless that's, you know, maybe you, that's just what you want to do. But if you're the artist, you sort of have to wear a few hats now and um, you have to get it out and it will happen.